Hello, my name is Anna Björk. This is Q&A 003. So my advice to become a dog trainer would be that train dogs as much as possible. So the more experience you get to training your own dogs or family dogs or friends dogs, uh, the better you will become. And it's not only to train the dogs, it's like to be with the dogs, to walk the dogs, to read the behavior, to try to understand them better. And then, of course, it's possible also to go and do online courses or courses to other trainers or go to the university and study, for example, animal behavior, what I have done. So there is many, many different ways to become a dog trainer, but the best way is to just do it. So just train your dogs and all the possible dogs you can train. So my advice when you get a puppy is to try to spend as much as time with the dog as possible but also a really really important thing is to train the dog from the beginning to be alone because this is a problem which often occur uh, that people forget to train the puppy to be alone and then they are spending the whole time with the dog and then it comes a time that it's necessary to start to train uh, or necessary to leave the dog alone and then the dog has not at all get used to it and then becomes problems um, but otherwise i would advise to spend much with time with the dog go out go to a puppy class try to learn to know each other and have fun together so i have been training dogs my whole life um, so i was interested about dogs already when i was a small kid and I was going out with all my neighbor's dogs and training with them. I have a picture of me when I was like, I think four years old with a big bag of candy or dog candy and training my neighbor's Hovavart. So I have been always really interested about dogs and dog training. And yeah, I got my first dog when I was eight year old and was going already then to um, dog school with it and did some small competitions. And after that I have yeah, always had dogs and trained them. The reason I'm always smiling in training is that training for me is the happy place to be. So I love to train dogs and it, I don't think about the smile, I'm just like smiling because I'm feeling the emotion, the happiness. And it's also, I want also to bring the dog to a happy place when we are training because when the dog is open and willing to learn it's learned also much much more quicker and when i'm happy the dog gets happy and it's yeah our emotions connect to each other but even though i i love training so i'm happy there so i started to work at protection dogs worldwide uh, because uh, leder and me was following each other on instagram and he was then uh, yeah, he had seen my videos there and dog training videos and was uh, offering me a place here to work. And this was more than two years ago, I think. And I didn't have time at that moment to come here because I was living in Germany. Uh, but we were keeping the contact and then last year we met in Sweden, in Stockholm. And he was inviting me to come and look at this place. And then I came here and yeah i really much liked how everything is so everyone is taking really good care of the dogs the dogs are nice and like willing to work with the people all the people are really really nice um, so i didn't have any excuses to not to come here uh, so i'm really happy about the decision that i decided then to start to work here uh, so my best experience to work with dogs, it, there is a lot, but one which is, uh, which I all think I always gonna remember is that when I went with Catch last year, so my dog Catch, uh, to the World Championships in Denmark in IGP, and that was, yeah, a memory for life. Uh, so the biggest dog which I'm working with, I think that's Royce. Uh, so that's a big Doberman male from here. 
and he is pretty big but he looks even bigger uh, next to me because I'm pretty short um, but we have many yeah pretty big dogs but they look like gigantic dogs next to me because of my size <laughs>